Before we start using these chemical formulas, let's talk about how to read them. Um, in terms of vocabulary, the small numbers like this are called subscripts, and the large numbers like this are called coefficients. A subscript only applies to what it's touching, or if there's parentheses, what's in the parentheses. This coefficient tells us there are four of this entire thing. So if we look at it as looking at just one molecule first, anytime there's not a subscript, there's an understood one because we wouldn't write the element if we didn't have at least one of them in there. So for this, we have we have one nitrogen in every one molecule, but we have four. So four times one tells us four nitrogens. We have four hydrogens in every one molecule. So four times four gives us 16 hydrogens. And one times four gives us four fluorine atoms. Let's try a few more examples. In the first one, remember, if there's not a number, there's an understood one. So if it helps you, go ahead and add them. So we have one calcium, one carbon, and three oxygen. Let's look at this next example. We have a set of parentheses, which changes it slightly. So we still have one lead, one PB, but this subscript is outside of parentheses. So that means we have two of this NO3. So in every NO3 we have one nitrogen. One times two tells me I have two nitrogen and I have three oxygen in every one molecule. So if I have two, it's two times three tells me six oxygen atoms. And in this last example, you have two times two gives us four sodium. And for sulfur, one times two gives us two sulfur. And for oxygen, four times two gives us eight oxygen atoms.